Everybody who have scoped the dual resonant solid state Tesla coil will recognize this signal. It is the current ring up of the primary circuit. I can bring in now the voltage that creates this current and you'll see that there is a lot of overshoot and ringing and it is the purpose of this little video to show you that you don't have to put up with this anymore. The burden network is simply the usual sensing resistor with an inductor in series. The resistor alone would produce the green signal, which would be in phase with the primary current. But the combination of the resistor and the inductor makes the red signal. <clears throat> and this signal leads the current by a couple of microseconds. It's this signal that enables the predictor to turn on and turn off uh, <coughs> the switching elements in advance so that they switch right at the zero crossing. Don't worry about the accuracy, because I got the best test equipment that money can buy. Bringing the trace that shows the voltage across the load reveals that there's a lot of ringing and overshoot at the uh, voltage transitions. And this is due to the fact that the device is switched just a little bit later than the current uh, crossing, which means that the copac diodes have already started to conduct and they are forced into reverse recovery when we apply the voltage across them. Therefore, it's important to adjust the switch so that it switches just a little bit earlier than the zero crossing, so the body diode is not allowed to conduct. And this is much easier than using gate resistors, just turning the knobs on a pot, and there you are, ringing be gone. Someone asked me the other day, do your snobber resistors get hot? And I said, no, I don't use snobbers anymore. <laughs>